in this tip of the day, we're going to take a look at 1CNC profiles. Now, what's a profile? Well, simply put, a profile is an easy way to save your custom 1CNC settings. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to close 1CNC down and let's start a brand new session. Now, first of all, down here where it says profile, you can see that the name of the default profile is simply called default. Now, if I click on this arrow, you have some options. You can create a new profile, delete or rename. Let's make a brand new one. I'm going to call this brand new profile, I'm going to call it CAD. In other words, I'm going to be using this profile to create CAD drawings. You can create a profile for anything. You can create an imperial profile, a metric profile, a profile for each one of your 1CNC programmers. Very simple. Now I'm going to click OK to this and we'll click OK one more time. I'm also going to change the theme to dark shadow and let's go ahead and launch 1CNC. So 1CNC launches and there's the dark shadow. Now because I'm going to be using this profile for creating CAD drawings, let's add some options to our quick access toolbar. Let's head over here to our extrude options. I'm going to right hand mouse click on extrude curves. It adds that option to the quick access toolbar. Right click on extrude cut, right click on extrude a boss, and those options are added. Let's add a few more. Let's come down here to model tools. I'm going to add the fillet command by right clicking, extract an edge, extract surface edges. And I think that looks great. Now let's add one more thing. If we come over here to file and select 1CNC properties, all of these properties are also going to be saved with your user profile. A lot of things you can change, but let's keep it simple. Let's go to dimension. I'm going to change my arrow type to filled and I'm going to change my text height a little bit larger, going to make that 200 thousandths. We're going to click OK to that. Now when I shut 1CNC down, all that information is saved with the profile. Let's go ahead and close 1CNC. Let's relaunch it. So if I were to select the default profile and launch 1CNC, there you go. There's the default profile with all the default settings. Now let's say it's time for me to create some CAD drawings. We can launch 1CNC. Down here where it says profile, I'm going to select CAD. I'm going to click OK to that launch 1CNC and now you can see that the dark theme is loaded all of my quick access options are there and if I were to create some dimensions let's just quickly create a rectangle here that looks good I'm just gonna drag a rectangle out and if we were to create let's say how about just a radial dimension Let's go to radius dimension you're gonna notice that the text is large and the arrow is filled 1CNC profiles, very easy to set up, very powerful. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.